even doing this morning? Good, how you doing? That's good, so anyway, I get for you this morning. It's December the 14th, it's about 9 a.m. and based on some of the feedback I got from the Q&A video, I'm gonna try one of these little vlog type format videos and see how it goes over. But the uh, first thing I need to do today is run to Walmart as bad as I hate to and uh, get some walnut stain for that farm table bench we're building and uh, get a snow shovel. Got that took care of as bad as I hate going to Walmart the best time to go to Walmart in this town is early in the morning that's before the zombies get out of bed they don't get out of bed about two or three o'clock in the afternoon and if you go to Walmart that time you got to deal with them but anyways we're going to go back to the shop now and uh, work on that table base or the not table base but the bench the farm has table bench I've been building I'm gonna work on the base I got it pretty much put together I just need to put stain on it and uh, in case you're wondering why I'm putting walnut stain on, and I built the base out of oak and uh, some white and red oak, actually. I didn't have any thick walnut stock on hand. All of it's either air drying or headed to the kiln. So to match the table that I built, I'm gonna stain the base of it with walnut to match it. And I'm also going to uh, leave the top of it, though, where you sit down is white oak. And I'll just be putting water locks on that to match the table. As usual, my shop's a complete mess whenever I'm building something out here, just the way it goes. But uh, this right here is the base of the uh, of the bench. And these stretchers are white oak, and all the, the posts and the styles are red oak here. It's pretty stout. I clamped it up and went ahead and used the uh, Fest Tool Domino on all the joinery yesterday to build this thing. And if you got that fence tool domino, you can build something like this in a day. It's, it's pretty fast for mortise and tenon construction. But uh, when I clamped it up, I had just a little bit of a, of a twist in it. The legs was a little even on the bottom. It just twisted somehow. I'm not sure how it twisted, but it I twisted little. So that's why I got this one brace going horizontally. And hopefully uh, the glue set up real good last night and that fits the twist and it's going to be solid the way it sits. So we get the clamps off today and start sanding this up and get it ready for that walnut stain.
Well, it fits together really well. I'm pretty pleased with it. This thing is very, very, very solid. I, I've not got this top attached yet. We'll do that with tabletop fasteners at the very end. But uh, this is a very, very stout bench. I've said that twice now. If y'all get the point. But anyways, uh, like I said, this is all oak right here. Red oak and white oak. The top will remain in its natural uh, a grain color there. We'll put water lots on it to finish it just like the farm table. And that walnut stain will go on the base of it here and it will really set this off. It'll look really well, I think. So we got a few small uh, things to do here before we can start putting finish on it. And it may take me most of the day because I don't have a lot of time left. I got a few, uh, I got a meeting to go to in a few hours. So there's a few final steps left before we can start putting the walnut stain on the base of it, which is what I want to get on there as fast as I can so it can dry properly. Because after the stain dries, I'll put a coat of water lots on top of that. So we've got a few things to do here. This base will be ready. So we'll see what we can get done today. Folks, as soon as you can see on these stretchers or apron rails, whichever one you want to call them, they're just a little proud of the post right here. And I do that on purpose. It's uh, I've had difficulty in, in when I do my mortise and tenons to get these to line up and be a perfectly parallel line right here where it's straight and it just comes right into the leg. I have trouble. Sometimes I'll get it a little below. And at that point, if you're below the post, you're really you're really out right there because you can't trim the post off. It's just gonna throw everything else out. And, but if this right here is just a little bit higher and that's about a 16th higher, I can just plane that down until it meets the post. I do it on all four corners. That's just a real better way, I think, of achieving that really straight line.